Hello from the Rumi Guide Oracle Book. We are going to be reading She Offers the Sacred Wine, so drink. Number 32. O wine giver of enlightened heart, offer me the wine of your kindness. For this is the reason you have brought me here from the desert of oblivion. O oh, beautiful wine giver, pour me the wine that gives me insight. Offer me the wine from the sea of love and fill my heart with pearls. Pour it into my heart until I shred the veil and go beyond reason. My spirit is consumed by judgment and my life is reduced by thought. Pour that precious wine over the frozen cries of skeptics until their words become warm and their nays become yeas. Rumi. I got myself a little sign. <laughs> I'm so proud of it. <laughs> Anyways. Will you say yes to me? I want to take you with me on a wild adventure. There we shall be, tripping, stumbling, falling like fools, laughing our most unconstrained laughter as we drink the sweetest of offerings. Roshous and silly we shall be, though undoubtedly we are from the noblest and most royal lineage. Nonetheless, standing inside the tavern, warm and illuminated by the golden hearth fires, we will hold on to each other, barely able to stand upright, crying with so much laughter, sweet wine coursing through our blood. Beloved, you are being offered a gift that is beyond your understanding. This gift is from the hand of the Divine Beloved, an offering to you that will lift you beyond what you have known into the next opening of your inner eye, of your heart, of your soul, so that it may caress the earth with the light of heaven. This may sound wonderful. Indeed it is. Yet, welcome though this gift may be, there is a trick to receiving it, you see. When the sweet wine is offered, you must drink, but also be willing to become drunk. You must be willing to let go of your control. You must trust in what will happen. Trust that you will be cared for or that you may appear to be the fool. You must be willing to not have all the answers, or indeed any answers at all, my wise soulmate. And trust that this is according to the higher plan and not some inadequacy or error. So, will you accept the gift that is coming for you? The offering that the Sacred Feminine brings to you now, it is sweet wine she offers. It shall be an enjoyable journey receiving this gift, a wearing away of resistance and restraints towards life through the sheer pleasure of aliveness without thought. Oh, what a journey this is to be for you. So much that is truly wonderful and incredible sacred and extra, extraordinary awaits you, you who are asked to drink from the generous cup of the great beloved. And it is being brung towards your lips. So what if your speech becomes incoherent and you have no words to describe what you feel? Or if the world around you ceases to understand you could any of that compare to the great bliss of being fully alive 
and dancing with the divine ones in dazed splendor at the beauty of life this is a party you want to attend trust me even though no one will be much interested in talking because they will be too busy dancing everyone will envy you though if you only open your heart to invite them too many will say oh no i have to wash my hair but I have to sort through my accounts and count my fingers and my toes. It will take me too long and I simply won't be ready to attend. But you go, of course. You enjoy yourself whilst I am working long and hard at things so very important. And you may hang your head and wonder if you too should stay at home to wash your hair and tend to your counts and count your fingers and toes many times over perhaps to make sure you get it right. But then you'll hear the distant sounds of clinking glasses, of music, of stomping and dancing and laughter and you'll think a wise thought, so wise indeed that you'll stop thinking immediately after thinking it. That thought will be, forget this to-do list, I am going to have some fun. This oracle comes with guidance for you. Are you having fun yet? Well, you may need to wash your hair and tend to your counts. That is fine. You may even need to count your fingers and toes but over and over again, beloved, surely you can find some time in between the endless to-dos of your to-do list to throw a tantrum and come dancing with me instead. Your honor and commitment, discipline and focus are certainly to be rewarded with some uninhibited nonsense, hopefully. Come. Put aside that seriousness for a moment or more and allow the wild child in you to take your body and soul for a spin. Together, let's go and paint the town the color of love. <laughs> this is your sacred honoring ritual. If you can have a glass, <laughs> sorry, I don't, I said, okay. If you can have a glass, with some drinkable liquid, water is fine, or juice, or wine if appropriate, and you prefer this option, then have it ready for your ritual. Place your hands over the filled glass and say the following, all things emanate from the divine beloved, and the divine beloved lives in all things. In this sacred nectar, I receive the gift of love from the divine beloved. I sip, I drink, I partake of the sacred gift offered to me now. I place my mind aside and choose instead to bear witness to what is offered now through the gift of grace. I ask for assistance that I may remember what it is to play and to find the joy of living, the delight of my path, and the humor of life. Bless me with such grace. So be it. Drink. You have finished your sacred honoring ritual. Unless you feel like dancing around your living room, after which you shall have then completed your sacred honoring ritual. I'm definitely dancing. <laughs> Love and blessings.